One of the most demanding and fascinating things for an Excel user is to create interactive things in Excel. And a checkbox is a small but powerful tool that you can use to control a lot of things by unchecking or checking it. In short, it gives you the power to make your stuff interactive. And I'm sure you use it in your work frequently. But the thing is, do you know how to use a checkbox up to its best? Yes, that's the question. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can insert a checkbox in Excel and all the other things which will help you to know about its properties and options. So without any further ado, let's explore this thing. Let us start with how to insert a checkbox in Excel. Let's start by manual method. First of all, go to the developer tab here. Now, if you're not able to see the developer tab, you can right click anywhere on the ribbon and click on customize the ribbon. And then check the developer option here and click on OK. Now, you have the developer tab here. And after going to the developer tab from controls in this group, you can click on the arrow below the insert option. Now, there are many things here. In this, let's look for the checkbox option. You can keep your mouse over that and it will show you what it is. Now, here is the checkbox. You can click on it and you can insert it wherever you want. Now, you have selected the checkbox right. Now, click on the place on your worksheet where you want to insert it. Let's click on here. See, you can drag this and place it in the place. Yes, it is done. Now, let us talk about how to link a checkbox with a cell. Once you insert a checkbox in your worksheet, the next thing you need to do is to link it with a cell. Now, for that, follow the steps I am going to tell you. Let us right click on the checkbox and let us select Format Control. Click on it. We get a format control menu here. Now, go to the control tab here. And in the cell link input bar, enter the cell address of the cell which you want to link with the checkbox. So in the cell link, let us enter the address of the cell we want to link it. Now, for me, it is B. Two. You can enter here or you can use this button to select it. See, B2. And you can click on the arrow mark here for the control dialog box to appear. See. Now, let us click on OK. In the cell which you have linked with your checkbox, you will get true when you tick the checkbox and false when you untick. Let's move this here. See, if you are unchecking this, it will turn into false. And if you are checking this, it will turn into true. Now, let us talk about deleting a checkbox. You can delete a checkbox using two ways. The first way is to select a checkbox and press delete. You can select this checkbox. You can right click on it and it will be selected. And you can press delete button on your keyboard. This is a simple and fast method to do that. Now, if you have more than one checkbox in your worksheet, select all the checkboxes by holding the control key and pressing delete to delete them all. The second way is to use the selection pane to delete them. Let's go to home tab. From here, let us go to editing group. This is the editing group here and let's click on find and select. And we have selection pane. Now let us click on here. You can select each of them one by one or you can select more than one by using the control key. Now I had already selected this here. See you can select the checkbox you want to delete by clicking on it and pressing the delete button on your keyboard. Now I'll delete this. See it is deleted. Now, let us talk about printing a checkbox. Most of the time, users avoid printing a checkbox. But if you want to do that, you can enable this option by using the following way. 
Let me insert another checkbox to show you that. Now go to developer tab, insert a new checkbox and click on the place you want to insert it. Done. Now to print this, let's go to the checkbox and right click on it and select the format control option. Now let us go to the properties tab here and let's tick mark the print object. It is already ticked here and let's click on OK. Now this will allow you to print checkboxes and if you don't want to print them, make sure to uncheck this particular option. Let's click on OK and when you go to the file or you press Ctrl plus P to print anything in this workbook, the checkbox will also be printed out. Now, let's talk about how we can resize a checkbox. If you want to resize the checkbox, you can simply expand its size by using dots from its border, like this. See? Yes. And if you want to resize it using a particular height and width, you can do it by using the following steps. Let's right click on the checkbox and select the format control option. Let's go to size tab here and, and under the size and rotate option here, we can select the height and width of this. And you can click OK after you have entered the desired height and width. Alright, I have a quick tip for you. To lock the aspect ratio for the size of the checkbox, tick mark lock aspect ratio. That is, once you go to the format control option and go to size tab here, you have to click the lock aspect ratio here to lock this height and width option you have given. Okay, this is over. Now let us talk about copying a checkbox in multiple cells. You can use three different ways to copy a checkbox from one place to another. First is very simple, copy paste. Select a checkbox like this and right click on it and press on copy. Go to the cell where you want to paste that checkbox, right click and click on paste. See, it is done. The second way is using control key. Let's select a checkbox and then let's press the control key. Now with your mouse, drag the checkbox to another place while you want to place it. I press the control key on my keyboard and now I'm dragging it to another place. See, it is copied to the place where I wanted it to go. The, all right, the third method is using fill handle. Let's select the cell which has your checkbox. Now I have selected the cell and use the fill handle and drag it up to the cell on which you want to copy the checkbox. So keep the mouse on the right bottom corner, click on it and drag till where you want to copy your checkbox. See, we had, we have copied the checkbox to all these places. Let's talk about renaming a checkbox. While renaming a checkbox, there is one thing you have to keep in mind. You have two different names associated with a checkbox. Caption name and an actual name of a checkbox. Now, there is a question. How to change the caption name of a checkbox? Right click and select edit text. See, now we can change the text of this checkbox. Let's delete the existing name here and write our own name. And you can click somewhere else. Now, see, it is done. The next question is that how to rename a checkbox. Right click on the checkbox you want to change the name of and then go to the address bar. This is the address bar. And edit the name here. Let's edit the name here as name of checkbox. Okay, you can click enter once it is done. Okay, we have talked a lot of things about the checkbox. Now, let's talk about fixing the position of a checkbox. By default, when you insert a checkbox in Excel, it will change its position and shape when you expand the cell on which it is placed. 
but you can easily fix its position using these steps. Right click on the checkbox. Let's right click and let's go to the format control option here. And here let us go to the properties tab and let's click on don't move or size with cells and let's click OK button. Once you select this option, the checkbox will not move from its position by expanding the column. Alright, the next thing we are going to learn about checkbox is to hide or unhide a checkbox. You can also hide or unhide a checkbox from your worksheet using these steps. Open the selection pan by using the shortcut key ALT plus F10. On the right side of the name of every checkbox, there is a small icon of an eye. Click on the icon to hide a checkbox and the same icon again to unhide it. For example, we have the checkbox named name of checkbox here. So let's click on the eye icon here. See, it is hidden. If I click on it again, it will unhide. What if you want to hide or unhide all the checkboxes? You can use the hide all button and show all buttons to show all the checkboxes. See, hide all. And you can use show all. Okay, that is about it. I hope this video was informative and you learned about checkboxes in Excel.